Hello, I'm Eben Sutton, Associate Accounting Officer in Accounting and Financial Services. Today we're going to talk about fee payment, billing, and receipt of financial aid funds at UC Davis. These activities are handled by our Student Accounting and Cashier's Office divisions, and all UC Davis students need to know about them. Specifically, we will be talking about our MyBill Electronic Bill Presentment and Payment System, the Registration Fee Deferred Payment Plan, and Direct Deposit. First, let's talk about billing and MyBill. MyBill is an online website that is available to all enrolled UC Davis students for viewing bills, making payments, and managing their student account. Students will receive their first billing statement for fall quarter no earlier than August 22nd or upon passage of the state budget. Billing statements are usually generated and available through MyBill on or about the 22nd of each month. The MyBill website features the following capabilities. View and print your billing statement. Make a payment towards your balance. Set up payments to be processed automatically. View all of your transaction history. Schedule a future payment. Store your payment methods for quick and easy payment. Or, as a student, provide permission to other users, parents or employers, for example, to view your bill and make payments. Registration fees are due according to the schedule set by the Office of the University Registrar, which is available on their website at registrar.ucdavis.edu. Housing payments are due according to the terms of your housing contract. Please note that UC Davis's policy is to bill in electronic format only to enrolled students and their designated authorized users. It is important that the student authorize their parents or any other authorized users to view and pay their UC Davis bill on my bill if they will be involved in the fee payment process. Unless such authorization is granted, parents or other authorized users will not be able to access bills, make online payments, or ask questions of student accounting staff about their student's billing statement. Students are protected by the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act or FERPA. This is a federal law that protects the privacy of student educational records. The law applies to all schools that, like UC Davis, participate in financial aid programs under the U.S. Department of Education. There are several options when making an online payment at mybill.ucdavis.edu. Payments can be made online with an ACH transaction, also called an electronic check or e-check, from any domestic checking account or by using a Discover credit card. Discover card payments are charged a $12 service fee, while payments made via e-check are free of charge. To use a checking account, you must have your banking institution's routing and transit number, or RTN, the name on the account, and the account number. This information may be obtained from a paper check, so it may be helpful to have a paper check from the account you're using as a reference. Alternately, you may call your bank to obtain this information. Students and parents may also want to send in traditional paper check payments. Please make these checks payable to UC Regents and note the student's ID number on the check. Mail payments to the cashier's office at the following address. UC Davis Cashier's Office, P.O. Box 989062, West Sacramento, California, 95798-9062. UC Davis receives so much mail that we have established a direct pickup from the U.S. Postal Service Regional Processing Facility in West Sacramento. So don't worry that you're not sending payments to Davis. The West Sacramento address is correct. Of course, you should never send cash through the mail. If it is necessary to pay with cash, please visit the cashier's office on the first floor of Dutton Hall. The cashier's office does not accept credit or debit cards of any kind. Student fees are billed in August, November, and February each year. Tuition and fees, along with any other balances on the student account, are due in full one week before classes start. Students have the ability to use their student identification card to charge a variety of goods and services across campus to their student account. It may be helpful for students and parents to have a conversation around use of this feature before the student arrives on campus to avoid any unexpected surprises when the bill is posted to my bill. For families that prefer to pay fees on a monthly basis, 
the campus offers a Registration Fee Deferred Payment Plan, or RFDPP. RFDPP is designed to give students the opportunity to make three equal monthly payments throughout the quarter. For example, a student taking advantage of RFDPP for fall quarter will pay at least one-third of the fall quarter fees by the fee payment deadline, one-third by October 10th, and the final third by November 10th. At the end of November, they will be billed for winter quarter fees, which are due in December, January, and February. The application fee is $60 annually, which includes fall, winter, and spring quarters, if the student signs up in the fall, or $25 per quarter if paid separately. Each quarter, the plan opens upon initial billing of fees and closes one week prior to the first day of instruction, the fee payment deadline. If you are interested in enrolling in this plan, please use SISWEB at siswweb.ucdavis.edu and complete enrollment no later than the fee payment deadline. Your payments will be calculated by the system and are available for review at any time. There are a couple RFDPP limitations of which you should be aware. First, students opting to pay fees late will need to pay in full. RFDPP is not available during late fee payment. Late fee payment is the time between the fee payment deadline, one week prior to the first day of instruction, through the tenth day of instruction. Second, items charged to the student account through use of the student ID card are not eligible for deferral. Students that are fully funded by financial aid will not need to pay fees online. Financial aid students are, however, encouraged to review for accuracy their My Bill online statement, which will list the fees charged and financial aid provided. Financial aid funds will be used to pay fees, room and board, and any other charges on the student account the student has authorized. Amounts left after all such charges have been paid will be refunded to the student, or, in the case of PLUS loans, the parent, if the parent has requested this service. Although parents are always remitted PLUS loan funds by paper check when the refund to parent option is chosen, students have a better option, direct deposit. Direct deposit is a means by which students can obtain their refunds electronically without visiting student accounting. This is particularly important as federal financial aid regulations require students electing to receive a paper check to pick up their check within 21 days of issuance. Students taking no action to pick up their refund checks within the 21 day time limit risk forfeiture of their federal financial aid. I recommend all students sign up for Direct Deposit by visiting directdeposit.ucdavis.edu to input their banking information. The information required, which is the routing and transit number and the account number, is the same as we discussed earlier for fee payments. Although it may seem early to begin preparing for financial aid, I encourage students to sign up now as there is a five-day waiting period between the time a student signs up and when Direct Deposit enrollment becomes active. This provides us the opportunity to verify bank account information. We've covered a lot of information in a short period, so in closing, I'd like to introduce you to a couple of accounting and financial services websites. The student accounting website, studentaccounting.ucdavis.edu, contains all the billing and due date information discussed today, and will provide additional information which may clarify any questions you have. Information on paying for fees may be obtained from the cashier's office website at cashier.ucdavis.edu. Students, remember, there are two things you can do right now to get ready for fall. Authorize your parents or other persons on my bill as users, giving them your permission to obtain information about your UC Davis student account, and sign up for direct deposit at directdeposit.ucdavis.edu. Thank you for your attention while I explain these important details. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact Student Accounting at 752-3646 or the cashier's office at 752-0460. Welcome to UC Davis and go Ags!